Hi, my name is Greg Mills. I'm with an organization called SDI Botics. Uh, we're here at the Contron booth at the ECS uh, convention. Um, I'd like to show you our, our vehicle right now. Uh, it's the Stingray. There's an annual competition down in San Diego sponsored by the AUVSI. Uh, it's hosted at a Spaywar facility. Um, and it's really just to uh, further the development of underwater vehicles for uh, for student organizations that compete them and, and further that applications. I'd like to show you some of the applications that we're using in here. Uh, we're using the Contron ETX CD uh, PC104 stack. It has uh, RTD embedded systems, uh, frame grabber on it that lets us get two continuous video streams from this forward looking camera and a uh, downward looking camera on the bottom. I don't know if you can really see it. Uh, also in there is a 1.1 gigahertz dual core uh, processor. That's all inside this aluminum box right here. Uh, it has uh, it's heat sunk to there, and this is actually a flooded hull, so it works. Uh, the waters are actually the coolant for that. Uh, everything's connected with these wet, uh, wet matable underwater connectors. Uh, we have this battery box here uh, that powers the sub. Has 80 amp hour uh, lithium polymer batteries. Uh, we have uh, accelerometer in there, uh, pressure sensor for depth, uh, compass, uh, some health sensors inside there for temperature and moisture. Uh, as far as propulsion system goes, we have the three vertical thrusters on the wings and on the tail. These control the pitch and the roll and the depth. Uh, underneath, we have the Voith Schneider propellers. The way these actually work is uh, they spin around like this and generate a force vector. But if you change the position up here, the pitch of the blade actually moves around. So you get a whole force vector and a whole lateral plane. So the vehicle can actually strafe as well as turn and it gives you your yaw and your propulsion. Um, there's also some, some payloads that aren't on it right now. Uh, three hydrophones for acoustic detection. Uh, things that drop markers in the water and also grab and interact with the environment. Goodbye. Have a good day.